Hello everyone, this is just a first test. Can you hear me? Good day from the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where at this hour the Orbit 1 team of flight controllers is on duty, watching over their respective consoles' data as they prepare for the arrival of an unpiloted Russian Progress resupply craft delivering three tons of cargo to the Expedition 52 crew on board the International Space Station. At this hour, on console in the dark jacket uh, in the center of this row of gentlemen is the lead flight director for the progress activities this morning, Jeff Radigan. At the bottom of your screen to his left is flight director Anthony Vareja. And at the top of your screen, veteran astronaut Steve Bowen, who is communicating with the three crew members on board the space station when required throughout the course of this morning's activities. Across the ocean at the Russian Mission Control Center in Karayov on the outskirts of Moscow, this view of the Russian flight control room, the Russian flight controllers in charge of this morning's activities as the Progress 67 cargo craft is now just about six kilometers away from its destination and an automated docking at the aft port of the Zvezda service module on the Russian segment of the orbital outpost. Everything has gone uh, perfectly with all of the engine firings and the adjustment burns uh, to uh, pinpoint uh, the path of the Progress resupply ship to the International Space Station. Docking is scheduled just about 40 minutes from now at 6.42 a.m. Central Time, 7.42 a.m. Eastern Time. The Progress is carrying three tons of cargo for the crew members on board the station. The breakdown includes 1,940 pounds of propellant, 51 pounds of oxygen, 53 pounds of air, 926 pounds of water, and 3,069 pounds of dry cargo in the form of spare parts and other supplies for the crew members on board the station. A total of 6,039 pounds of cargo being delivered to the International Space Station. 
Later today, uh, several hours after docking, uh, after leak checks are conducted uh, at the docking interface uh, between the Progress and the Zvezda service module, uh, the Expedition 52 Commander Fyodor Yurchikin will open the hatch uh, to both uh, the Zvezda service module interface and the Progress itself and begin to unload its cargo. Uh, and yet another delivery supply run will have been completed uh, between uh, the fleet of ships uh, that resupply uh, the International Space Station and the crew members on board the complex. The uh, progress is docking this morning will culminate a two-day journey uh, that began with its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan uh, back on Wednesday at uh, 4.20 a.m. Central Time, 3.20 p.m. Uh, in Baikonur as the Soyuz booster, uh, its engines ignited and it lifted off from Site 31 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome, uh, arced out over the northeast onto an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. Eight minutes and 45 seconds after launch, uh, the uh, uh, Progress resupply craft separated from the third stage of that Soyuz booster, deployed its solar arrays and its navigational antennas, and so far has uh, been on a flawless course for an automated docking to the station again about 38 and a half minutes from now. Awaiting the arrival of the Progress on board the International Space Station, the Expedition 52 crew, as mentioned a moment ago, uh, led by the station commander, Fyodor Yurchikin, uh, joined by NASA flight engineers Peggy Whitson and Jack Fisher. Uh, Yurchikin and Fisher are inside the service module itself at a control panel uh, at the ready in the unlikely event that the Progress's core's automated rendezvous system should experience a problem. They could take over manual control of the flying of the Progress for the final phase of the rendezvous that would lead to docking uh, on, an, on a system known as the TORU system or the tele-robotically operated uh, uh, system that uh, would enable them to use a joystick in the service module uh, to guide the Progress in in the highly unlikely event that there would be a problem with the cores. However, everything has been rock solid so far with all of the progress of systems as we uh, await uh, the arrival of the progress in the neighborhood of the International Space Station and the beginning of what is called a fly around uh, that will enable the progress to precisely align itself and its uh, forward docking probe to the uh, aft port of the Zvezda service module. That will come uh, just a few minutes before docking at a range of about 1,300 feet between the Progress and the service module. There will be a brief period of station keeping to allow Russian flight controllers to assess the Progress systems and the alignment of that docking probe to the docking port itself before the command is issued for the final approach and docking. At the time of contact and capture, the Progress will be traveling at a glacial one-tenth of a meter per second uh, as it gently nestles in uh, to the uh, uh, aft docking port of the service module. There will be a period uh, of relative motion uh, that will uh, be allowed to dampen out between the two vehicles that are both traveling at five miles per second against one another. Uh, and once uh, that motion has uh, settled down, uh, the um, docking probe will begin to retract and uh, the uh, docking surfaces will be flush against one another for a hard mate uh, when hooks are closed uh, between the progress and the docking port on the service module itself. So we'll uh, stand by and uh, bring you all of that activity as it unfolds over the course of the next uh, 36 minutes or so. At the moment, the International Space Station is flying 258 statute miles above the Earth flying over Mauritania on the west coast of Africa, moving from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. All of the station systems are in excellent shape. The progress is now just three kilometers away from arriving uh, in the neighborhood of the International Space Station. About uh, 40 minutes ago, uh, Yurchikin told Russian flight controllers uh, that he could uh, see the progress as a small dot in the distance, uh, the progress growing ever larger in the field of view for the crew. 
Uh, we're expecting to get views of the progress soon from uh, truss cameras on the International Space Station. We also should be getting a view uh, from the engineering crosshair camera, the external tele television camera on the progress itself of the International Space Station as uh, it begins its final approach. And there it is. There's the uh, view from that external engineering camera as the progress uh, makes its way slowly but surely on its automated core system, locking on to a comparable system on the service module of the International Space Station for navigational updates. Whether we show all nominal system operations, we're not getting video yet at MCC Moscow. Uh, we are getting the video image uh, from the progress camera. So everything is in order here. Copy. So hello everyone. Uh, this is a bit rushed. I had to start the stream a bit late due to technical issues. So uh, now I'm doing the first announcement during the stream that has already started. Uh, today we are watching the docking of the PROGRESS 67P or PROGRESS MS-06 to the International Space Station. The PROGRESS launched two days ago, which I also covered. Uh, the PROGRESS is uh, still a uh, modified A Soviet good view capsule. from uh, one of the external cameras on modified the International for, Space Station uh, as it flies over the Sahara the Desert of Algeria, about to cross the northern coast of Africa to fly over the Mediterranean on this pass of the Earth. Docking is scheduled in about half an hour to 40 minutes. The progress should be in uh, visual camera range uh, within the next few minutes. The spacecraft will dock to the ISS Pulse module, which is essentially if you... Uh, we've got first uh, visual footage, but if you look at the model of the ISS, of course, there is technically no up and down in space footage. And there's the view of the Progress vehicle as it uh, continues uh, to methodically make its path to the International Space Station. Station it's what could be referred to as the lower docking port of the ISS, if you want so. Go ahead. You're going to activate Toro. As soon as you are finished with activating Toro, uh, please go ahead and proceed with the test right away. Copy. Right now, display. 44 is on your screen, and uh, we're ready to start uh, MPEG-2 recording. The uh, TORU system, again, uh, mentioned in that communication uh, between the Russian flight controllers and Fyodor Yurchikin is the activation of the backup rendezvous system, the telerobotically operated system, that again would be used only if uh, the core's automated rendezvous system experienced a problem. So far, the core system is rock solid, no problems uh, with it, as the progress hones in uh, for the uh, final minutes of its approach for docking to the aft port of the Zvezda service module. As mentioned uh, earlier, there is a Stanley Cup-like treasure trove of uh, supplies awaiting uh, the unloading of the progress by your chicken for the Expedition 52 crew. This progress also includes supplies for the next trio of crew members who will launch to the Baikonur Cosmodrome on July 28th, uh, led by uh, Soyuz Commander Sergei Rozansky, NASA astronaut Randy Bresnik, and Paolo Nespoli of the European Space Agency. Uh, they're scheduled to launch on July 28th, arrive at the station six hours later to bring the station back to its full complement of six crew members. Power up. Complete. Transmitters are on. Initial command is sent. All LEDs are on. All four of them. Starting with the rotational hand controller test. To the right. No issues. To the left to hard stop. 
No issues to report. All nominal. Up. Being essentially clockwise. a modified Soyuz, the uh, progress does have, of course, as it is modified for Rotational hand controller to, to uh, provide some uh, situational awareness, uh, again, from this uh, engineering overlay on the crosshair camera on the progress. In the lower left-hand quadrant, uh, you can see uh, 1.04, that's the kilometers, that's the distance right now between the progress and the International Space Station, the value that's underneath it, minus 3.47 meters per second. That's the rate of closure, uh, the range rate, if you will, uh, how quickly uh, the progress is closing in on the station. Once uh, the fly around is complete, the progress will put the brakes on to basically null its approach to the International Space Station to zero rate. Uh, for that period of brief station keeping before the command is issued to begin its final approach for docking. You are go to proceed with 4.3. Bye bye, to initial. The progress does, of course, have an automated Operation. approach system based on our radio metering. However, All uh, four LEDs as are lit. the Soyuz automated Sending command system to activate is not perfectly mode. reliable, and the Soyuz sometimes command has to be been manually sent. dock. And we see times. AGC eliminated. The uh, on progress the not only has a backup uh, automated for system, but image. can also actually be manually yeah, docked, copy. just like the Soyuz. Except of course, uh, uh, we're, we're getting video, radio control right and we see you space working station. through different uh, AGC modes. We're going to select this one for now because that's the best image that we could find. It. Can I disable operation mode? No, if you look that. at the numbers, Operation uh, mode disabled. it does seem like it will be very fast Copy. docking at first. And as the International course, Space Station flies over uh, southern Europe, a good view of the complex. It's three crew members on board, your Chicken, Whitson, and Fisher. And you can proceed with page 22. They will return home as a uh, three-person crew on their Soyuz vehicle on September 3rd for a parachute-assisted landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan. For Peggy Whitson, that will wrap up a 10-month mission on board the International Space Station, a four-and-a-half-month mission for your chicken and Fisher. Range is 700 meters. Range rate is 2 decimal 33 meters per second. We copy. And it will gradually slow down and gradually reach that remain still, image of the station. and then crawl towards the station at 10 centimeters per second. Copy that. That's very good. If uh, we need to, uh, and you don't mind, we're going to work with AGC modes and try to select the best image. You are go for that anytime. So the and as mentioned in the launch coverage... 600 meters now uh, separating the progress with the International Space Station. We're expecting uh, the progress to begin its automated fly-around of the complex about two and a half minutes from now. The address C is zero. Copy. The progress on thrusters that are used for orbital maneuvering and docking to the space station are, uh, other than that of uh, launch vehicles not optimized for efficiency, but rather for precision and controllability and reliability. That is, the progress is going to approach the docking port at 10 centimeters per second, and it has to approach almost perfectly in line. So uh, these thrusters can actually control the spacecraft with a precision of uh, less than a millimeter per second. All of the rendezvous burns for the progress, uh, pre-programmed, have gone uh, as advertised. No issues with the progress vehicle at this point. We're about 25 and a half minutes away from its automated docking to the aft port of the Zvezda service module, where it will reside until about the mid-December time frame. For a second. Copy. If you're getting the image, then uh, maybe I'll provide commentary at, upon your request. Yeah, we're waiting for uh, the um, fly-around 
range. All right, so, Andrei, just let me know when you need me to make my calls. We'll let you know, Fyodor, if we uh, have a bad image, then uh, we'll ask for your comments. Okay. And you can already see in the numbers down there, it, it is already slowing down as it closes in, and while it's still looks at first glance like a very fast docking procedure. This is Mission Control it Houston. It still seems like it's taking uh, just as long as it took uh, a few the minutes ago. Progress in the International Space Station. As we stand by for the start of the fly around, this will be about a 110 degree fly around of the station to precisely align uh, the progress and its forward docking probe uh, with the aft end of the Zvezda service module. And the fly around now has been initiated. As you can see from the, this view from the Progress's camera, You can also get a bit of an idea of the uh, flight path about to be followed if you look at the uh, picture to the upper left that is uh, the uh, module marked as uh, PILS docking compartment. That is where the uh, progress is going to dock. And you can see the uh, big module with the solar panels in the uh, digital image to the upper left is uh, now right in the center of the screen of the uh, In this view uh, from image. the Progress's camera, just about right at the crosshairs is the uh, Zvezda service module that was launched 17 years ago in July of 2000 as uh, the initial uh, command and control component for the International Space Station. We're now just about uh, 22 and a half minutes away from docking. Uh, the uh, Progress will complete its fly around shortly and position itself directly behind uh, the aft port of the Zvezda service module where it will dock. At the bottom of your screen, you can make out uh, the black and white image. Uh, that is the uh, Progress 66 cargo craft uh, that uh, arrived at the station several months ago and uh, which will undock on July 20th uh, to be deorbited and burn up in the Earth's atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean. Now, as you can see at the bottom left, the uh, spacecraft is still continuously slowing down and it's already rather slow. It's not getting much closer to the ISS at this rate. It's going to uh, actually halt at this point and then align itself with the actual docking port before it's starting to approach again.
And there's a view of the Progress uh, resupply vehicle as it uh, continues its fly around of the International Space Station to position itself directly behind the Zvezda service module. We're about uh, nine and a half minutes away from the point of the initiation of final approach, coming up on the 19 minute mark until docking. As uh, the International Space Station flies directly over the uh, capital of Kazakhstan, Astana, about to begin a northwest to southeasterly track that will carry it across uh, northern China, southern Mongolia, and out over the Pacific Ocean a short time from now. Everything uh, continuing to go uh, smoothly with the arrival of the progress at the International Space Station. All of its pre-programmed maneuvers have been executed uh, in textbook fashion, no issues reported so far. The progress visible against the limb of the Earth. And in this view from the High Definition External Viewer Camera, or HDEV, on the International Space Station, an outstanding view of the progress as it uh, continues its uh, inexorable approach for an automated docking to the aft port of the Zvezda service module. We have now reached the point where the uh, progress is very clearly visible from the International Space Station. Uh, interestingly, now we can see the progress maneuvering and uh, beautiful the uh, RCS thrust boost. Uh, this view the showing uh, the periodic the thruster uh, firings on the progress as it uh, positions itself directly behind uh, the Zvezda service module. The fly around is continuing. We can zero, see the second, uh, thruster firing very one. clearly, but just before, that was actually one. the view of the webcam that is used for yeah. the uh, HP 10 for 7 ISS live stream, or one of the webcams. So that We're in a roll maneuver. Just before it went all pink was uh, As it uh, arrives uh, to almost directly behind uh, the service module, you see the docking port of the Zvezda service module just about in the upper right-hand quadrant of this engineering view. The uh, Soyuz is doing a roll maneuver to properly position its solar arrays for final approach and docking. 5964. So for initiating there, final can approach. Be easily seen with your bare eyes without any zoom or anything. Copy. We are set on the station side. Final approach mode has been enabled on the station. Copy. So there's standby for Argo. Soyuz, uh, the progress vehicle completing its uh, roll maneuver. A good view right at the crosshairs of the uh, docking port at the aft end of the Zvezda service module. The uh, vehicle in the top right hand quadrant. That is the, the Soyuz MSO-4 vehicle that will be the ride home for Peggy Whitson, Jack Fisher, and Fyodor Yurchikin on September 3rd. In the lower left-hand quadrant is the Progress 66 vehicle that is currently docked to the Piers docking compartment. BPS initial command has been fired. We have operation enabled. Display 44. And uh, selecting display 44, and we have both station and progress. And uh, 
with everything in order and the alignment of the forward docking probe uh, perfectly uh, set to the aft port of the service module, the final approach has now been initiated, the progress 169 meters away from its final destination. Yes, I did. Zero decimal five. We have bit one and seven in the sea word line. Copy. We're up to zero decimal 81 for closing rate. Right now we're at 150 meters based on the Ranger. So, Fyodor, we ha still have about uh, 10 minutes left until contact, so we'll probably be in insulation by then. Again, uh, as you can see in the lower left-hand corner, 135, 134 meters uh, separating. That's the range between uh, the Progress and the uh, International Space Station, currently closing at a rate of about uh, six-tenths of a meter per second. And uh, as uh, indicated earlier, at the time of docking, uh, the Soyuz, uh, the Progress uh, will be uh, closing at a rate of just one-tenth of a meter per second. Uh, the station will be placed in what is known as free drift. All of its uh, thrusters will be disabled uh, to prevent uh, any inadvertent thruster firings that would perturbate uh, the uh, contact and capture of the progress against the docking port of the service module, uh, permitting uh, the retraction of the progress's docking probe and uh, the initiation of the closing of the hooks that will form a hard mate between the progress and the International Space Station. ...from the center by about one degree. Copy all. Continue to use range ruler to compare uh, data you are receiving from cores to what you're seeing on the overlay. Copy. We're getting to three squares within uh, the large diameter of the service module. Copy. What we were just hearing on the radio, there is actually a system of uh, essentially optical navigation to uh, check Copy. against the radio metric navigation to be sure and to be able Flight to... Flight controllers uh, of the Russian Mission Control Center continue uh, to watch over their consoles properly. and all the data that they're receiving from the Progress vehicle. The International Space Station and the Progress flying over northeastern China, moving from northwest to southeast. Closing in at uh, zero decimal 32. Copy. For example, of course, you can check the uh, crosshairs. Have a good visual on the target. The crosshairs are aligned. The target is uh, almost and the perfectly the at the center the, uh, of the electronic crosshairs. Of the Copy seen in the image. Uh, there's also We're currently handing over between satellites on the tracking and data relay satellite system. We'll reacquire our downlink TV signal from uh, the progress and the station, and there it is. Just a momentary loss of signal. A good view of the aft port of the Zvezda service module at the bottom of the uh, circular docking port is uh, that uh, crosshair docking target that the progress's core's automated rendezvous system will hone in on. Uh, to match the overlay against that docking target and the precise alignment for contact and capture. Docking is scheduled about ten and a half minutes from now. There's also this uh, optical docking indicator at the model itself that matches up with the crosshair. And it's actually quite cleverly designed. It's not just a crosshair painted on the model, it's actually three-dimensional. And it works a little bit like iron sights on a gun. It actually tells you your orientation meters. and positioning relative to Closing the in at zero decimal two. docking port and with Copy. its uh, cross crosshair shape and with the uh, incremental degrees on the outside surface. It actually tells you all six dimensions of positioning. And while it would take some analysis to know exactly where you are, you can quite well tell if you are very aligned for the docking. The docking I clearly see on the crosshairs and, and the docking mechanism. Readiness is confirmed. Copy, so and we're watching an that as well. You can quite easily use this to switch to a backup system and back up the spacecraft in case this doesn't match up properly during the docking. 
Looking right down the barrel of the aft port of the Zvezda service module. This component again launched in July of 2000 as the initial command and control component for the International Space Station. Good view of the docking target uh, at the very bottom of the circular docking port. 40 meters now separating the progress from the station, closing at a rate of about one and a half meters per second. And while in case of manual docking, you would try to uh, just perfectly align with this optical crosshair aid that you can now quite clearly see on the module itself by aligning this with the crosshair on the hub. The radiometric docking, it should match up with this, but it doesn't always perfectly match up. There is a bit of imprecision, and there, sim there actually is a bit... You, you, you don't have the to dock exactly clear. to the millimeter, so there is a bit of visible. freedom, so it mm. might Target not perfectly match up, but you should be able to see the uh, You can see uh, that the core's automated rendezvous system has done its compensation, and we have almost a perfect alignment now as the progress closes the final few meters for its automated docking, just 25 meters now separating the progress and the International Space Station. All commands have been sent and executed. Copy. The target is almost smack in the middle of the electronic crosshairs. Copy. And it has finally slowed down. Finally Antenna has been re retracted. One and seven in the C line. Copy. And we're watching format 44 with you as well. The approach velocity from indicator is still slightly The target is it, one uh, square offset to the right and, and, and half a square towards the upwards of the but center of the electronic crosshair. But you can already kind of see the uh, 10 centimeters per second in the approach velocity at the lower left corner of the screen. Buzzer. Buzzer uh, air flag. Confirmed. And we concur. The crosshairs are aligned. The target is almost smack in the middle of the electronic crosshairs. Fyodor Yurchikin confirming what you're looking at from the Progress external camera. 17 meters now separating the Progress and the station, closing at a rate of one-tenth of a meter per second. And the as you've just the heard over the width radio, of the target is the, uh, about one and a half perfectly have to match squares and you'll actually for the, the overlay the and the range will be almost and, uh, clean filling and they will we are at uh, 14 not meters perfectly in the center closing in at the zero decimal 11 meters per second across the screen Copy. as the uh, I just lost the video image the and we've just recovered image docking. we copy and concur so the, the time is incrementing on on the display and just a few seconds ago, here, if you uh, 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 back, uh, Oh, yeah, uh, we recovered a video as well. See the, uh, now again, you can actually 11 kind of meters, see the three-dimensional The target is almost the in the middle of the... You can see that the sort of inner circle is slightly set off against the outer circle. First bit is one. Your cheek in uh, providing a running commentary to the Russian flight control team. They're seeing the same data he is inside the Zvezda service module. Standing by for contact. And Just eight meters separating the progress and the International Space Station as we stand by for contact and capture. Back in the that middle of the electronic crosshairs, zero decimal, 12 meters per second range rate. Crosshair. Getting closer now they look to almost as if they're exactly one of their perfectly lined for up. The overlay. But since they're Standing three centimeters closer, you can check contact if they're perfectly lined at up. And zero if they're decimal, 13 meters per second and not lined up range rate. Crosshairs are completely aligned. Contact confirmed. Contact confirmed. Capture confirmed. 
Docking has been confirmed at 6.37 a.m. Central Time. Thank you very much and for a reliable and vehicle. And as you can see, the docking is still settling in. There's still a little bit Again, of docking confirmed at 6.37 a.m. Central Time, 7.37 a.m. Eastern Time, as the International Space Station flew 258 miles over the Philippine Sea, north of the Philippine Islands. The progress uh, completes as smooth a journey as you can imagine from the launch pad at Baikonur, two days to arrive at the International Space Station with three tons of supplies for the Expedition 52 crew. Moscow Station, Space Program 1. Go ahead. Uh, we are standing by to deactivate our mode on your go. Once the uh, probe retraction is complete, you'll be go to deactivate our, uh, our mode. Yep. We're ready and we're standing by. Next up will be uh, the start of the retraction of the docking probe on the Progress that will basically pull uh, the Progress and uh, the uh, docking surface of the Zvezda service module tight against one another as the initiation of the closure of the hooks then begin. That will form a hard mate to be followed uh, by several hours of leak checks at the docking interface uh, between the Progress and the Zvezda service module leading Did to the opening of the Progress hatch by Fyodor Yurchik and later today. Yeah, of course. Well, I, I wouldn't call and it impact. It, it, it was really the, soft. Uh, camera is still moving. Uh, I would say it was a gentle dot, touch but not, uh, rather than anything yet. else. Well, you've had the SMF docking before, so you have something so to compare it back to. Slightly swinging That's against each other, dampening this out slowly, not to Crosshairs are aligned. And so the camera is still slightly And the uh, cargo vehicle is now in the in a gentle but very firm embrace. Thanks to the station now. And you are seeing display, right? Must. You may not be getting any video from the cameras because we're in Eclipse now, but uh, you should be getting the uh, data display. Again, we're standing by uh, for the uh, retraction of the forward docking probe and the initiation of the closing of the hooks by the progress at the docking interface with the Zvezda service module following a perfect approach and link up. Docking occurring at 6.37 a.m. Central Time, 7.37 a.m. Eastern Time as uh, the progress and the International Space Station flew 258 miles over the Philippine Sea north of the Philippine Islands. The docking probe now has retracted, and uh, and the uh, Progress's hooks are driving now into the closed position to form a hard mate between the two vehicles. Now in the upper left, or on the left side of the screen, but in the upper left side of the uh, big screen that is in the image right now, you can actually see a graphic or live graphic of uh, what the uh, docking port is mechanically doing right now. It's a nice uh, schematic view, but it's uh, driven by live data. So uh, you can see it's now pulled in and it's now close to a hard mate. So it's uh, no longer uh, dampening, but it's now uh, firmly attached to the ISS and the hooks that are now driving in will uh, safely attach this so that it will no longer drift and uh, the port can then actually be opened.
And uh, here in Mission Control, the visiting vehicle officer has confirmed uh, that the hooks are now closed. The Progress and the International Space Station are hard mated. This will uh, set the stage for leak checks over the course of the next few hours to ensure that we have a tight seal between the Progress and the International Space Station. But everything uh, that has gone uh, by the book continues to do so as the Progress completed a textbook journey of two days from the launch pad of the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan for its automated docking at 6.37 a.m. Central Time over the Philippine Sea north of the Philippines. So yet another resupply vehicle has joined uh, the fleet at the International Space Station, this time to deliver three tons of supplies for the Expedition 52 crew. With that, uh, we'll wrap up our coverage for today. A perfect journey by the Progress resupply vehicle. It's automated docking flawless. With that, uh, we'll wrap up our coverage. We wish you a good day and a good weekend. This is Mission Control Houston. So as we've heard, the uh, cargo is now complete now. We had a uh, hard docking confirmed. So uh, that concludes the journey of the recent launch of 2 ISS. The uh, next uh, interesting thing that I will uh, live stream uh, Actually, a uh, little announcement uh, have been uh, postponed a little bit. The uh, Falcon 9 launch with Bulgaria Z1 is, uh, I, I think it was one day. <laughs> uh, I'll have to look it up again. Wait a second. So it's, it's two days, uh, it's been postponed by two days to June 19th. I wasn't entirely sure when the original planned launch was, but it's uh, two days uh, postponed. So it's on June 19th now, the uh, time of the live event I have also uh, updated already. And I think I can give a little shout out to the moderators, uh, Exploding Cats 1801 and uh, Simply Click, being the ones that I can see active in the chat right now, for uh, keeping the chat clean of flat earthers and uh, other weird spam bots. So with the progress and uh, an overall mass of uh, seven additional tons and a an actual payload of three tons of cargo, that is uh, air supply, food, water, and also some uh, spare parts and scientific equipment being delivered to the ISS and safely secured. I will now uh, wrap up this live stream. I will leave it running for a few more minutes, then uh, start. Uh, setting it up
back for the uh, almost 24-7 uh, ISF uh, steering version again, which will take a few minutes. Uh, so uh, I'll leave now and uh, in a few minutes I'll be uh, seeing for uh, more questions. Uh, but then I will eventually stop this live stream and start the uh, original ISF 24-7 live stream again. What we're seeing right now is actually not a live footage from the ISS. This is uh, just a recorded footage that is playing out after the coverage of the docking as fellow towards the next uh, section of the Nether TV program. I'll be switching back to the actual uh, ISS live stream later on.
I will now close this live stream. The next event I will specifically cover will be the uh, SpaceX launch in three days. Uh, full coverage of uh, this event and others uh, will be uploaded to my channel. Uh, you can still ask questions and uh, this live stream will be uh, up again in a few minutes then uh, restructured and renamed as the uh, almost 24-7 ISS live stream. So uh, see you in a few minutes.